Idle Hands by Thomas J. Miseraka. I can't scratch my face again. I've already scratched it a couple of times. If I do it again, this girl's going to think I'm crazy. I can't help it. It's all her fault. She's talking too much. I have to do something with my hands. Rubbing my chin will make it look like I'm interested. I can feel my five o'clock shadow. I should have shaved before coming out. My right cheek feels rougher than my left. It's tricky to get a close shave under my neck. I think my mole is getting bigger. And sprouting hair. Must stop touching my face and focus on her. She's still talking. Now my nose is itchy. Just a little scratch. People always scratch their noses, nothing wrong with that. Rubbing my eyes is not strange either. I took a crusty speck out of the left one. She won't notice if I slide my hand under the table and drop it on the floor. Then I'll keep my hands there, out of view. Why am I running my fingers through my hair? She'll think I'm trying to make myself pretty for her. Oh no. Did I just pick the dead skin off my lip? She's not going to want to go back to my place after this. She's looking at me funny. Am I bleeding? I touch my napkin to my face. No blood. Good. Maybe she won't notice if I clean the wax out of my ears. I'll wipe my fingers on the napkin. Dinner is long over. Perhaps we should leave. But she wants to talk. I don't want to blow this one like all those other dates. Now my chest is itchy. I bet I'm breaking out in hives. She won't notice if I scratch over my shirt. Why did I wear a shirt and an undershirt? I'll just open one button. No. I'll need two to get my hand inside. She stopped talking and looking right at me. I take my hand out of my shirt and look back at her and smile. She continues talking and I scratch my chin in interest. Both my arms are now itchy. I can pretend to fold them in order to scratch them. Again, the shirt is in the way. I lean back and roll up my sleeves. They itch so much, I scratch furiously. Now the skin on my arms is all red and bumpy. I need to keep my hands under the table and on my lap. My legs are itchy. No, scratching them will look strange for sure. Maybe I should excuse myself and go to the bathroom. Instead, I fold my hands and keep them on the table. I try to ignore my itchy legs and the tickling on the soles of my feet, and my underwear could really use a shifting. But no, I must sit still and look interested. What the hell is she talking about?